Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all doing well today and I hope that you all had an amazing month of August. Not gonna lie, I have been having a small itch for fall so I'm kind of excited that we're getting into September already. But you're definitely gonna notice a pattern or a color scheme through the month of August. Colors that I've really been gravitating for, if you can't tell by my face. But yeah, let's get started. <music> non-makeup things but still beauty related. I'm going to start off with this conditioner. A lot of you guys, when I did my Larry hair extensions review and I went into my ladies room and we were doing my hair, kind of um, straightening it and just applying hair extensions, a lot of you said, Kat, your hair looks so healthy. What do you do to your hair? What is your secret kind of thing and to be honest with you my hair is actually quite damaged. I color it a lot. I color it at home a lot. I don't get it cut. I cut it myself. Um, I'm just very weird and picky about my hair but something that saves my hair is the WEN conditioner and my boyfriend's mom actually gave this to me a whole set in December and this still has about this much left um, because this is a very thick conditioner. It's more of like a mask almost in my opinion. I use it every time that I shower but I do a very very small amount. Sometimes I'll mix it in with a different conditioner that I'm doing. Um, maybe one from like Pantene or Herbal Essence or L'Oreal something like that. But this stuff is magic you guys. It is a little bit pricey but I'm telling you it is 100% worth every single penny. Another thing I want to talk about is this eye gel. I also did a whole review video. I'll link it down below or pop it up just right over here on Radiant Skin Care and my favorite thing from their line is their eye gel. Um, I've told I told you guys before that I suffer with very dry under eyes, very dark circles, and I have a couple prominent fine lines under there as well. This stuff is so great for hydrating that area, and it also kind of tightens everything and lifts it, so it kind of gives you a little eye lift, which I really like. The great thing about this is the way that my concealer goes on afterwards. So I do have it, of course, under my eyes today. I do it before I put my moisturizer on, and then I go in with my concealer, everything like that. I will link my video down below or their website down below if you're interested in any of the skincare. It is all natural and organic and I've just been loving it. Also a nail polish that I've been loving this month and I'm going to continue to love I already know into fall. This is the Revlon in Gray Suede. It's number 705. It is what I have on my nails right now. I have two coats of it on and it's just a very beautiful, it's very neutral, perfect for the everyday but still kind of glam at the same time. I love Revlon's formula. It's pretty thick so it's not super watery but I do like to do two coats just for the longevity power. This Maybelline Better Stay concealer is out of this world. I have not fallen in love with concealer this much since the CoverGirl um, Simply Ages concealer that they discontinued. This was like my tried and true holy grail. I love this thing so much. But they discontinued it and I've always been on the hunt for new concealers and I found ones that I really enjoy, especially like mixing them together to get the fullest coverage but still going to last all day, doesn't crease, things like that. This is outstanding, you guys, and I didn't pick it up for a while. I have the foundation, the Better Skin Line foundation, and I was kind of holding off on picking up the concealer. I don't know why. It just didn't really appeal to me. This is what it looks like swatched. I have mine the shade Light Medium, number 30. It does have a tiny, tiny kind of beigey yellow undertone. It's all I have under my eyes right now. The formula is just amazing. The coverage is great, and the color is on point as well. Speaking of face products, the foundation that I've really been gravitating towards this month is the Rimmel Stay Matte. I love this. I've talked about it multiple times here on my channel. I don't know what it is about when summer ends and then we slowly start to get into fall. I love foundations like this with that kind of like moussey texture. It really does remind me a lot of the Tarte Amazonian Clay foundation, but I kind of like this better to be quite honest. It gives you better coverage. It's more blendable and it's not as thick, um, but pretty thick. I do have mine in the shade 203 True Beige. It's about $5. I wish they had a bigger shade selection. I will link right up here, of course, my um, in-depth review on this if you guys want to see it being applied to the skin. It is what I'm wearing right now, and it is what I wore in my last video, my back-to-school makeup tutorial, all drugstore products. This stuff is just outstanding. For lips, I don't have too many things, but what I've been wearing pretty much non-stop every day, and you've probably noticed this because I've been wearing it quite a few videos, is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Trap. This is right up my alley. This is one of my favorite colors. Um, it is what I have on my lips right now. And it's just that beautiful kind of grayish undertoned mauve. That's how I look at it. It's very flattering for all different skin tones. It's one of those lip products that looks different on all different skin tones. So I really like the formula. And this is the only one that I've picked up. Let me know in the comment section if you have some of these. What colors do you recommend to get? Because I want to order some more. If I don't want a matte lip, my favorite thing to pair over that is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Meringue. I think in the video that I showed this, uh, which I'll pop up right here, I think I said that it was Eclair, but it's actually using the shade Meringue. These two together, this comes combination is a beautiful, unique, mauve-y, mauve color, and it's just 
stunning. If you are wondering what I did dab in the center of my lips today is the Maybelline Lilac Flush. This is from the Rebel Bloom Collection. It's just a beautiful lilac shade, so I just kind of dabbed that right in the center here. The other lipstick that I've been gravitating towards a lot because I'm getting really excited for fall, I did show this in a tutorial this month as well. This is the City Color City Chic Lipstick in the shade The Secret Affair. This is my go-to fall lip color. It is the most beautiful combination of plum, cranberry, red, and purple all in one. It's very, very flattering. It has a very heavy scent of sunscreen though. If that does bother you, it doesn't bother me at all. Just I like the smell of sunscreen, but it's just a beautiful color, and you can expect to see many more tutorials coming up using this color. The highlighting combination that I've been using, though, is the City Color Spotlight Highlight, which is a cream to powder highlight, very similar to MAC's Shell Highlighter, and then the City Color Highlight Trio, which comes with a beautiful gold, a champagne, and then kind of like a pinkish pearly shade. Stunning, it is what I have popped on my cheekbones today. I really went for kind of like a matte eye, matte lip, and then glowy face. I really like that whole look. And then the last couple of things that I want to talk about were a couple of palettes. The first one being the Morphe 35W palette. This just has fall written all over it to me. I did use this in one tutorial already. I'll link it down below. Let me know what other looks that you'd like to see with this. Um, I played a lot with the uh, champagne shade right here and then some of the orange and then some kind of like red tone browns. But let me know if there's any other looks that you'd like to see with this. I can already tell this is what I'm going to be mainly gravitating towards for September, October, November, December, pretty much, but yes. I got mine off Hot Look because these do retail, I think, for in the 30s, I believe, but there's always sales on Morphe, but I snagged mine for $19 on Hot Look. If you guys aren't part of Hot Look, I'll link that down below as well. A lot of flash sales come on there. It's where I get a lot of my Tarte products, some of my... Lorac products, Morphe's on there a lot, just really great deals, but they're flash sales, so it goes really fast. The palette I wanted to mention was the Comfort Zone palette. It's again one of those palettes that I always gravitate towards as summer ends, fall approaches, just because of the shades in here. I mean, this is a very universal palette, but I think this is a palette that literally everyone needs in their collection because it is such a staple. Wild has a great eyeshadow formula. I really like their eyeshadow formula. It's very creamy, very pigmented, not a lot of follow at all very, very affordable. And the last palette I wanted to talk about, this is the Tarte High Performance Naturals. This is pretty much almost all matte shades and it has beautiful dusty mauves up here, which I love. This beautiful kind of rustic gold shade, a lot of purples, some grays, neutral colors. It's just a very, very universal palette, but it's very soft and feminine. And I've just been using this a lot lately, really focusing on these dusty mauve and lilac shades up here. And kind of totally miscellaneous, I did want to mention this Scentsy. If you guys have Scentsy's and if you don't know what they are, they're basically those things that plug into the wall and they have a light bulb underneath um, and then a tray and then you put one of these on here and it kind of melts and creates a really nice fragrance. So I really like candles a lot, but sometimes I don't want to waste my candles. <laughs> I like them to just be there and, you know, look cute too. And I've been using Scentsy's a lot. This is the Vanilla Pumpkin Cream. This smells so good. It makes us want to bake food all the time. And it's a perfect fall, but not too fall because there is a lot of vanilla in there as well. It's just very warm and cozy smelling and just smells delicious. You can get these, I think, at Target, at Walmart, anywhere that sells um, any of like the candle area. And then lastly, for my favorite show, I know I didn't have a favorite show last month. Um, this month has been Scandal. I've been hearing a lot of things about Scandal. And I remember trying to watch the first episode and I just couldn't get into it. I just was like... It's not really catching my attention. So I ended up watching a couple more episodes, and now I'm on season four. <laughs> it is so good. It's just because also it was recommended because I watched Revenge, and you guys know I really like Revenge. Scandal is a little bit more intense, has a totally different background story, and it's focused a lot about the White House and the government, which is kind of interesting as well. It's a really great show. A lot of um, action, a lot of romance, a little bit of comedy. It's it's really good. So if you're thinking about watching it, if you need a new Netflix show to kind of binge watch, then definitely check that one out. Alright guys, so that completes my monthly favorites. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also let me know down in the comment section what are some of the products that you've been loving this month. And thank you so much you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!